Yeah, she's been stubborn. Her hair's not brushed. We're walking down past the Okay, so she's going to come and meet us down here? Yeah, I think so. She's okay. talking to her now. Oh, there I am. Hi. Oh, yeah, lovely. Fantastic. Yeah, so we're going to have a little chat with her. Yeah, she's going to come and meet us down here. Yeah, I think so. She's okay. talking to her now. Oh, there I am. Hi. Oh, yeah, lovely. Fantastic. Yeah. Resetting flash. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The knees. <laughs> Sam, I'll have to do the, the gopher. The gopher. Yes, smile. Yay. <laughs> And this is our little spot for photo shoots, just here is good. And we can either do it in the sun or a little bit further around the shade, but look at that little bit of Putakawa. We're just going to make sure that's in shot. Oh, here we go. Nice contrasty shot for you. So do you want me to walk or go over there? Pretty much. We're going to take photos next to that Putakawa there, please. Okay. Is that the plan? Yep, that's the plan. Oh, you sure you're not in on this? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> he got made to come here. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is the other half. He's the <laughs> You're right. Yeah. The carry bed, eh? That's the one. I'm, I'm a videographer. This is the site of the old Browns Mill and the original grinding wheel is actually underneath it. Okay, that's it. Everyone looking over here? Yes, exactly that. <laughs> Who smiles? Look, 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 look at the 
got the fair yeah. again. Pretty! Pretty! Did you guys see Oh, me. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, look at that duck over there. Come here. Look. Yes, now, very Pretty! What we could do is we can move up to that leaning over that thing up there, yeah. and then we can wander back up around. Oh, we've got the bags here actually. Yeah, I'll take them. Oh, great. Okay. It was good, sis turned up just. Let me pass please. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, just here is good. So when you're taking photos of ladies, always shoot downhill on an angle. So it's more flattering. Turn the radio off YouTube. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to grade the photos. So always camera off when removing a memory card. And so the way I do a photo shoot is keep pushing that button. There's nothing worse than watching someone shoot a wedding or something and they take 24 photos like they're still using film so it's uh, very important that you just keep pushing that button you'll have a whole lot of duds and I'll show you how to grade those now because um, the way to do a photo shoot because most people will do a photo shoot and they'll give it to them in a month or three months or when they ask them ten times for it I believe you've got to you haven't finished the photo shoot till you've given the photos back so you do the photo shoot you grade the photo shoot you save it to USB and you give it to them that's a photo shoot and so we're going to do that now so the first thing we're going to do, and I'm not an expert on Lightroom, but basically it does pay to get everything in a folder first. And so we're starting here uh, to the end. And so we're shooting RAW and JPEG, obviously. Uh, image, so we've got a folder called Shoots. New folder, and I'm not even sure what the name is. I'm going to go Alia. And it will change that name. We only use surnames. Very important to only use surnames. And then we boot up Lightroom. And I always get this bit wrong. It's important you import from a named folder and then it names the catalog or the, get, uh, the folder that. Like I say, not, that's a photo shoot we did last weekend for hospice. It was good fun actually. Black background, goodness gracious, I tell you. Great fun. Can you see that all right? Yeah, it looks all right. There you go. 
So, rolling, rolling, rolling. Yep. Are we finished? Yep. So now we're going to import photos and videos. Christmas photo shoot. Lots of photo shoots. And then we go. All of these are for free. We do paid photo shoots as well, but most of them we give away. That was a donation. Boss Whistle was a donation. Obviously, this is for fundraising as well. And so, go to shoots, Alia, and they're all ticked. And so, it's only importing the raw import. Progress meter up the top left. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pick or unpick them. Now we've reinstalled Lightroom on a new computer build over here and Lightroom's totally different and I'm not sure why that is. It's like it's made for a phone. I need to work on that. But basically you pick, P for pick, or U for unpick. And so without even thinking about it, we're going to go through the photos, for good or for bad, before we do any grading, and we're going to decide what do we just get rid of really quickly. Because you do not supply blurry photos, because that'll be the one they want big and um, that's not how we do it. And so I always like to do these walking down the alleyway ones. Um, no, they've got to be good. There'll be plenty of photos. No flash. Got a good one. That's before I went manual on the camera. So you can see the, the, the low dynamic range, so it's very, too bright and too shady. And that's why I went manual, so I could go 100 ISO. You've got to have, the only way you can increase dynamic range, so you've got your shadows light and this is not too bright, is um, you've got to run a low ISO. Obviously you've got to have a modern sensor as well. Look at that one. And when, when you're taking photos of ladies walking, you want to have their legs in a graceful position. You know, one leg forward. It's blurry, but I'm going to give it to them anyway. Look at that. Cheeky. Can you see this all right? That one's blurry. Just grandma's got her eyes closed, so we could come back to that and use that one because we can easily put eyes in if we need to. It doesn't matter if it's a free photo shoot, you still do it properly. So we've got this one, so we've actually got a usable photo. I'd like Alia smiling a little bit better, but we'll get there. So now I'm going manual, so you see I get my exposure set. Uh, where can we see my settings? Up here. So I'm 100 ISO. Uh, with a 60mm 2.8 lens, I'm running at 2.8 because I want a shallow depth of field and uh, 2 50th of a second it is and obviously that's pretty pretty um, pretty quick for this low light situation but that's workable in Lightroom, picking that no, no <laughs> It's a shame there's not in focus. He's a good local, Kuiper Flats boy from the hills. Nice. Got him. Looking. No flash. The good flash is these, the Modus. The flash recycles okay on them, but they're just a handy flash. What's good about them, they have this decent one of these. So you can you always have a spear and they last for ages. But you've got to have a spear one. You can't just go putting AAs in there. Oh, these are great. And the funny thing about photos is we've just captured that forever. Everyone's already a little bit older. Well, it's a little bit shallow there, so I could have had it another stop or two down on the aperture to get a bit more, but there you go. That's a goodie. That's a goodie.
that's why you just keep pushing that button. I like that one. Tihei Moriora, bloody awesome. <laughs> nice one of mum. Like twins those two, look at that. So that's the first shot of them. So really, you only want to give them the good ones. So we haven't done any grading yet. My cropping's terrible. But usually I'd use a tripod, but you're on the tripod. I suppose I've got more than one. I should be down a little bit. I'm unpicking this one. If people look unsure, or if you're unsure, this is a life rule actually. If you're unsure, the answer is no. It's as simple as that. Oh, money shot. This this is the shot that it's the shots that I missed, and it's because I'm running a 60mm lens. She was great all of a sudden, and watch this next shot that I missed. Oh, never mind. There's plenty others. Nice with the light coming down actually. Could have done a few more photos there, but you know. Alia wasn't having a bar of it. So we move to this spot. And Alia was just about tired by then, so we just don't want to let that come through in the photos. No flash flash. Flash is a daylight balanced, so it's fine to use them in the daylight. Yes, yeah, so I'm unpicking that. Picking that. <laughs> oh, funny. I want one more there. Got it. That, even though there's no flash, I think that's the shot. And the photographer didn't get that one. Bit of movement, unfortunately. Got it. A little bit of hand movement because I'm doing a long exposure. I've slowed down to an 80th of a second. Uh, F3.5, just to give me a little bit of depth. I still like it. Oh, that's a better one. Good one. That's the sort of photo you want to finish on. A nice one of everyone. That's us. Okay, so now, if you can see what I'm doing, yep. So down here, uh, here, you can choose your filters. And so we want the filters on. We want the rated ones. No, the flagged ones. Filter based on flag status, so only if they're ticked one star and higher. No, so we've we've ticked off the star. So these are only our picked photos now. So we don't have to delete the ones we don't like. So now we're going to go through and grade. Okay, so what are we in? We're in quick develop, and uh, let's just do this easy. Tone control auto. Yeah. And dun, 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 a bit of vibrance. So the great thing, adding a bit of vibrance, the great thing, so that was vibrance, don't you love it? Bit of clarity, bit much vibrance, bit more clarity. The great thing about Lightroom is when, once you get one photo right of a series of consistent lighting, you just go right click, develop settings, copy settings, and copy everything, or whatever you want to copy. And then now I'm going to pick on the other photos that are like it, only the photos that are like it, and I'm going to go right click, develop settings, paste settings. So they're all done the same. And so now I'm looking at that, that first one, second one. You want to have some consistency. I don't like the white balance, so quick develop. How do I change what I'm in? You can tell I'm not 
everyday Lightroom user. It's like I'm in the library and I want to be in the developing. Navigator, window, library, develop. So I want to go window, develop. Now I'm in the proper developing section. I can give that a bit of yellow. I'm X Kodak, so I'm always going to add yellow. Because look, we are yellow, see? And then temperature up. I can give that a bit of exposure. Uh, that looks great. Cropping is terrible, but we'll get that in a minute. First one is going to go through and get some consistency. Quite different exposures, those. So I want to get them similar. So there, there, there. That's fine. Bit of yellow. Shadows are purple, but it doesn't look good purple. So that obviously doesn't <laughs> look at that cheeky one. More yellow. Loves it. You can spend hours. You really can, but you're going to end up overworking it probably. So obviously it's a bit flary into the light, so I want the highlights down. They're fully down. I'm even going to turn the shadows down. Oh my goodness. Blacks down. Don't mind it. So that one there, I'm going to go right click, develop settings, copy settings, don't think about it too much. Next one, and the next one, and the next one, right click, develop settings, paste settings. So there we go, so they're similar. Now it is a bright shot though, so let's leave some of those highlights in there. This one as well, I'm going to bring some of those highlights back. Yeah, see, that's better. There, highlights, highlights. yellow. I'm just going to um, let them know what I'm doing. Not sure where they are. I'm going to carry on. Okay, great. So, exposure up. We could just do shadows up, I suppose. Put the exposure down. Shadows up. I don't want to overwork it. I don't mind that's a bit brighter. See, again, I should have been a little bit lower. Get the shoes in as well. And that's why you should use a tripod. It's funny, you do these shoots and then afterwards you're like, oh, I should have done this and I should have done that. Okay, so now we're into one of my manual settings. And so we need to get this right and then paste that through. Okay, so a bit of exposure up. Definitely needs some yellow. Loves the yellow. A little bit of warmth, not too much. Vibrance. So someone's explaining the difference between vibrance and saturation. So vibrance, when you increase it, Leaves the skin tone. See the skin tone stay nice and it's just bringing up the blues and so forth. Whereas saturation is just going to overdo everything. So not so much saturation, but more vibrance is probably the best advice for portraits. Um, and I don't mind that. It's warm. Probably a little bit over vibrant. More yellow. like the yellow. So what you do with your levers is rock them backwards and forwards and leave them where they're happy. Too cold. Too yellow. There we go. And so something like that. I haven't done any sharpening on any of these. Not really my cup of tea. Sharpening, unless you've mucked it up and you need to. So develop settings. Uh, copy settings. And then I'm just going to go through anything that looks similar across the bottom. Manual, manual, manual. I'm going to go all the way to the end and paste that. The whole lot. Develop settings. Paste settings. Bing. And then... Uh, looking good. See, he needs sharpening, eh? So, sharpen, sharpen. There's two sharpens. Where's my sharpens? Somewhere transform. Clarity. Dehaze. <laughs> cool. Good local family. And so, where's this other one? While we're at it, the actual sharpening. Well, it was just down here. Well,
Oh, detail. God, you'd think I'd see it. Okay, sharpening up. Easy peasy. And sharpening. Da -da 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 -da. You don't want to overdo it. That will look terrible if you do. Okay, back to here. And so we're just going to look through our photos. And if we see any we don't like, we're going to unpick it. But that's fine. Fine. Not bad. So that one, everyone's in focus. This one. It's always the way, isn't it? The nice one, no one's perfect. Oh no, that's fine. Okay, so going through, lovely, lovely. A little bit bright on her skin there, so I'm just going to bring the highlights down a little bitty. Cool. Look at her fangs. Yeah. Fine, quite like that. So you'd clone out under her chin. Nice bit of red there, it's a shame, it's a slightly different angle, but you know, like I say, you just take the shots. So we're un unpicking this one. Unpick, and it just disappears back to the unpicked ones. Look at that, where's Bubba? There she is. So obviously, some issue with the lighting, and it just don't try and fix that, it's never going to fix, fix. Is what it is. Mum looks nicest than that. Right, that's the poor look because it's not a big flash. This flash, I've got to turn it up a bit. So I'm just cranking up the highlights and the shadows. Quite bright on these this series because we've got that wee bit of lighting coming through. But that's oh, that's a good photo. And there. So what am I using for a camera? ADD, love the ADD, with a 60mm 2.8 and a polarizer. I'm just bringing those shadows up. And most people be cranking the vibrance and everything. I don't want to overdo it. Look at that. This one a little bit. Oh, not too bad. That's fun. Great shot. I'm just going to put the exposure up there. Don't mind it. Shadows. We could pull those shadows down. Pull up. Doesn't really matter. It's nice either way. Oh, I don't like putting that clarity up. It's horrible. This one I'm giving a bit of vibrance. It'd be lovely to clone that, but do not clone in Lightroom. Goodness gracious, no. So obviously that one, just crop in, would be a good shot. I think we're done. No, it needs yellow. There's no flash. I'm going to go find the clients, and that is their photo shoot done. Very happy with that. That one needs a bit of dehaze. Well, not really dehaze. No, it does, doesn't mind it. There we go. Expose it down. A little bit of dehaze. That's the end of the photo shoot. Done. And so now, Control A, select the lot, file, export. Don't muck around. Put it straight on the USB. Add a tag to it. Don't skimp, only use SanDisk, seriously. So I'm exporting to the existing folder, shoots, Alia, select folder, uh, just a full uncompressed JPEG. 100% on the JPEG, sRGB, sharpen for glossy paper, that's probably okay. Export. You'll see it go across here, and then I'm going to format this USB, pop it on there, and that's the whole job done. And I'm going to go find the clients.
Thanks for joining us, you too. That's how we do it. Oh, I haven't cropped yet, so I need to do a bit of cropping actually. Anyway, okay. I came back. Um, it's exported now. We should do some cropping. There's only a couple that really bothered me. You know what? I'm probably not going to worry about it. I mean, it is a crop that makes a photo good. But that's good. I just want to photo shoot. Yeah, it went really good. Here it is here. Backwards. Having the gloss. Gloss is better. We used to like matte, but now in our new lab, gloss. Doesn't show fingerprints, not like it used to. Photo shoot, done.